<clears throat> All right, so I promised to do a demo of the ESP GL256 that I've got in a couple videos. I've got a Satriani song and a um, the little Michael Jackson thing, human nature thing. Um, I got it on Craigslist, and the guy that I got it from sanded off the LTD logo. Um, and also tried to take the hard edges of this relic job that's kind of more like a decal. Doesn't look, I mean, it looks kind of cheesy when you see it in person, but he kind of tried to sand it and kind of did a sanding job this way than that way and kind of just made it look worse. But, um, and then there was some other paint here that he just sanded completely off. Um, I'm thinking about just painting it black um, just because it's just kind of a mess right now. Um, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about when you look at it up close. Um, it looks, you can really tell how it looks like a decal. Um, the sides and the horn, you know, isn't as obvious. It actually looks okay. It's just the front. Um, you can just see, it just looks kind of cookie cutter. Like they just laid down a piece of, you know, cut out and spray painted over it. Um, the actual ESP version looks legitimate. This one, however, does not. Um, they did do a pretty good job of relicking the neck. Looks like they just kind of took a Dremel. Um, and I'm not sure what this is about here. It's like it looks like a little smiley face. <laughs> um, but as you can kind of see, like some of the wear is not really where it technically should be. I mean, they they didn't even you know it should be kind of maybe right under the string. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little too critical, but you know from a distance it looks like an old worn guitar. Um, you know, they even wore this down, down there, at the heel, and, you know, up here too. Uh, and it feels really good, the neck. Well, and that's kind of the thing that sold me on it, especially for what I paid for it, which was little, very little. I think new they go for 400, 400, 450, something like that. Um, the one thing that's not stock on here the, is the bridge and the neck pickup. He did replace that with a uh, SH-1B or 2B or I can't, I've, I've got it in one of my other videos, the model of that pickup. And it actually sounds really good. I'm not sure what the original pickup sounds like, but apparently it didn't sound very good for the guy to replace it. Um, this is also a replacement Seymour. Duncan, and then this is the stock. I don't think he switched that one out. Um, and I did verify it. I pulled the uh, pick guard off and looked. Uh, the bridge doesn't really stay in tune that well. Um, if you if you get some of that graphite and put it on the nut, the nut, that helps a lot. I actually used like a number two pencil and just kind of shaved it down and put some in there, and it kind of worked for a little bit. That was kind of the, the ghetto version of, of the stuff that you can, that I think it's called nut sauce, that you can get. Um, what else? It's just your standard strat configuration. Also when I got it, it didn't have the, the tremolo arm. So I actually lucked out and found it at a uh, local um, music store. Uh, because ESP, never responded to any of my emails <laughs> asking them where I could find a replacement um, and I sent several and I sent several uh, explaining my dissatisfaction <laughs> for their customer service but um, standard five-way switch volume uh, and of course tone two-tone knobs um, and yeah other than that it's pretty much a standard Strat configuration. I've got the bridge actually. I think there's like five springs on the back here, but I've got it where you can't pull back on it because it doesn't stay in tune 
really well. Um, so I guess in summary, um, if you can find this guitar cheap, uh, it's probably worth the money. I think, you know, around 200 bucks. I don't know that I'd pay 450 500 dollars for this thing. Um, I think there are better LTD models. Now I will say that the ESP version of the Relic Strats are actually really nice. They, they play really well um, and they are actually relic like you know like they should be um, by hand as opposed to by decals or however they did these. Um, but anyway it's a great sounding guitar um, with the new pickups in it I'm happy it's a Strat you know gives me the Strat tones that I you know can't get out of my other guitars and it was cheap and uh, plays great the neck is nice um, it hasn't even really been set up and it it has a really nice action alright so here's kind of a clean uh, on the neck pickup Again, this is a replacement Seymour Duncan, kind of a standard single coil, I believe, I don't know if they have such a thing. Um, but anyway, so it sounds like. <laughs> from the uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 